Dear students, welcome in our today's topic, which is sorting materials into groups. In this topic, we will learn about how can we classify different materials into different groups. We have a criteria for it. How can we classify these materials into different groups? Now, number one criteria for this is physical state. We have to check the physical state of a material, whether it is a solid, whether it is a liquid or whether it is a gas. So, on the basis of physical state, we can sort the material into a group whether it's a solid liquid or a gas and accordingly we can group it we can group the material into respective group and number second is appearance how a material appears how how what is the color of the material color of the material what is the texture of the material is the material lustrous lustrous means is is it shiny or it, it is it dull is it hard or it is soft on these criteria we can classify the materials into groups and number third criteria for sorting materials is whether a material is a metal or whether a material is a non-metal we have to check a material whether it's a metal or a non-metal and accordingly we can place the we can place the material into the group of metals or into the group of non metals number fourth criteria which is that is solubility we have to check the solubility of the material solubility means is the material soluble in water or is the material insoluble in water soluble or insoluble in water and accordingly same ways we can group the material we can classify the material in the respective group of the soluble or insoluble group and number fifth of sorting materials into groups is light transmission like for light transmission we have three things one is opaque whether the material is opaque whether it is translucent or transparent what is opaque opaque are those, ob those objects which do not allow light to pass through them they do not allow do not allow light to pass through the transparent transparent are the materials which allow light allow light to pass through then are translucent are those objects which allow partial light light is allowed partially light is allowed partially so on these basis on these criteria we can sort the materials into different groups number one is physical state we have to check with the material is a solid whether it's a liquid whether it's a gas number second is appearance we have to check the color we have to check the texture we have to check the luster we have to check whether the material is soft or whether the material is hard number third we have to check the material whether it is metal or whether it is non-metal and accordingly we can classify we can put in put it in the same group we have to number fourth is solubility we have to check whether the material is insoluble in water or soluble in water number fifth is float or sink whether the material floats or whether it is sinks in water number six is light transmission whether it allows light to pass through it whether it allows whether it allows partial light to pass through it or whether it does not allow to light pass through it one is opaque which does not allow light one is translucent translucent it allows partial light and another one is transparent it allows full light to pass through it this was about sorting materials into groups and thank you